Hello fellow survivors, builders, and explorers. This is Sypha, and welcome to Sky Factory. This is obviously a Skyblock mod um, made by a uh, someone named Bacon Donuts. Most epic name ever, by the way. And, uh, yeah. I'm really intrigued. Um, obviously, uh, the first question is, well, why aren't you doing Agrarian Skies? Um, I am definitely going to be doing Agrarian Skies again, but this one kind of intrigued me. Um, I wouldn't say it's a better mod pack than Agrarian Skies, but it is different. Uh, most notably, it uh, lacks the, uh, the hardcore questing stuff, and also it doesn't have hunger overhaul. So this one, I think, is going to be like my uh, my laid-back uh, pack to play. Um, you know, this is something I can kind of leisurely play. Um, you know, I can do some stuff off-camera. With Agrarian Skies, I really can't do a whole lot of off-camera stuff um, because if for some reason I would die... Um, off camera, well, that would that'd be kind of crappy, you know. I, I wouldn't be able to show any of that. All right, so oh my gosh, I'm wow, this is really scary. Okay, so obviously I just missed loss of sampling too. Obviously, we want to put down a platform to give ourselves a little bit of breathing room. And we definitely want to use slabs and put them on the uh, the lower uh, the lower part of the, uh, the block so that nothing can spawn. Now, if I make a a, revolu a revelation during play, and I think of something that's you know I think is a brilliant idea, try not to face palm uh, too much. You already you know this is like common knowledge. I do not know Skyblock stuff very well. Um, I do know a bit of uh, Ex Nihilo, um, but that's pretty much it. And I have intentionally avoided watching people play Skyblock stuff. Um, because, you know, I wanted a, uh, a genuine uh, experience when I do it. Alright, uh... Well, let's take a look at our inventory. We obviously have the Open Blocks book, the Tinker's book, that, a couple more saplings, and this Achievement book. I kind of think that this was maybe something that was sort of before Hardcore Quest, but it's pretty cool. It just gives you like a checklist of, uh, you know, challenges that you can do, and I think that we uh, will go through this and see if we can uh, do them all. I think it'd be pretty damn cool. Uh, in the meantime, boy, you know, starting out is going to be a lot of downtime because there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, that uh, that I can do until uh, this tree grows up and get me some wood. So, um, yeah, when that happens, I will bring you back. Okay, well, a couple things. First of all, it looks like uh, we're in a taiga, which... Um, I'm okay with. Uh, it's gonna be really easy to get snow if we need it for whatever reason, which I think it'll come in handy actually. All right, first thing we need to do, okay, good, is make a um, a crook. There we go. Oh wait, no, derp. Aha. And with this, we want to uh, use this to actually break the leaks. This um, gives a higher chance for saplings to drop from the tree. And also, if I remember right, um, you can get silkworms as well from the tree doing this. Which you can use to uh, make string. Okay. You know what, I'm actually, um, 
I'm just fine with this. I hate rain in Minecraft. I don't like it. So, uh, this is actually pretty damn ideal, honestly. I am a fan. Oh, get a silkworm. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this tree. Alright. Uh, okay, we got ten saplings. That's good. So, okay. What I need to do is make a barrel. Okay, yeah. We'll just make one. Okay, there's a barrel. We'll turn the rest of these into... whoops. Into blanks. Oh no! Snow, why'd you go away? It was nice, I liked it. Okay, now, uh, with the barrel... Okay, first of all, before I do anything, I'll replant so I don't screw myself over. I think if I remember right, it takes eight saplings. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to, um decompose, or, you know, it's composting, um, into a dirt block, which is, uh, which is good. And I'm gonna expand my platform out this way, two, three, four, and I think what I usually do is leave, um, uh, four blocks between uh, trees normally is how I how I do it. So we will do that now. Boy, that that worked out perfectly. I could replant, make the dirt, and then have a sapling left over to plant another tree. That's uh wow. Okay, and the dirt is ready. Okay, just to make sure. One, two, three, four. Boom and boom. Awesome! This is a pretty good start, guys. Not too shabby. And again, of course, now we have to wait because we uh, <laughs> we can't do anything until it's uh, harvest time. I don't think mobs can spawn on uh, like a dirt block that has a sapling on it. I hope not, or I'm going to be uh, having a big surprise. Oh well. Um, as soon as uh, well. What I'll probably do, I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again. I will go ahead uh, and cut. And then when I get a uh, few more trees going through this same process, I'll bring you back. But I think I'll just kind of keep expanding my platform long ways uh, for now. But uh, anyway, I will see you back here a little later. Okay, guys, welcome back. And uh, you can see I have expanded. Actually, the best way to see is probably on my uh, my mini map. Um, I wasn't having uh, a whole lot of luck for a while, and then finally one of these big guys right here spawned, and um, well, you can kind of see where that happened because I had to expand my platform out um, in order, you know, so nothing fell into the void. Um, I think, uh, hmm. you know, I had originally thought that this was uh, going to be enough. But it's really not. I need a crap ton more. However, I do have five more dirt, uh, some more saplings and such. I think what I'm going to do is, um, instead of expanding out this way, north and south, I'm going to expand out this way to the west. Yeah, so basically I'll just uh, make this thing essentially twice as wide as it is now. Um, let's see here, one, two, three, four. So, this is where I want to put my uh, dirt. Granted, now, now if I had um, put these one more apart, Typically, the trees won't touch each other, and I know a lot of people prefer that. However, I actually want 
idea of the trees to be able to touch each other because um, when you use a silkworm it will automatically spread around on that tree and infect more leaves and this way if I use one silkworm I can uh, you know effectively um, use it on you know multiple uh, multiple trees with uh, only using one silkworm so um, I would also like to talk about the format of how I plan to do this series. Normally, I have an intro and, you know, tell you all goodbye, blah blah blah. I think that this is going to work a little differently. And a lot of it is because of the downtime involved. Like, for example, from the last time I cut the camera to now, um, wow, it's been a been a couple hours at least so I'm never really gonna be sure when I have enough for an actual episode so I think uh, I'll just kind of get on here I'll record and go through the footage and just kind of turn it into episodes that way and I'm not gonna do everything on camera but the risk of death on this mod pack is considerably lower than it is on, say, crash landings or agrarian skies. So this is something that can be uh, kind of leisurely done, I guess. Okay, well, I am uh, going to expand. And I think the other thing that I want to do is start on um, silk production. Actually, I think I'll do that now. What's nice is I got this really big tree right here. So let's, uh, there we go. And that is, that leaf is infested or infected or whatever. Um, okay. Oh, um, over here, I had to put the barrel, or this over top of the barrel because when it was snowing, the barrel was starting to fill up with the water and I couldn't place anything in it. Uh, that's actually a good thing. I want the, uh, the barrel to fill up with water. Oh, you know what? I am... Boy. I actually don't want the silk to spread off of that one. Let's see here. So I'm going to keep the sampling off of that for now, and I put that there just in case, uh, or to prevent any mobs from spawning on it. So, alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this platform expanded out, and uh, when the silk is ready to be harvested, I will bring you back. Okay guys, welcome back. And uh, you can see I've been working on uh, getting my dirt built up. Um, I didn't think that this diagonal would actually touch the uh, the big tree, and I'm still not convinced that it does. You know what? They touch right there on the diagonal. That's all it took for the uh, the silk, um, you know, the silkworms to go over to this tree. Uh, interesting to know. Okay. So obviously they look a little different now, and uh, what you gotta do is uh, just hit them with the crook, and check it out. Drop and string. Very cool. And they will drop a, um, a higher amount of silkworms as two, I believe. Now one thing to keep in mind if you're playing a skyblock game, is that uh, I don't think infested leaves um, ever drop saplings. And it doesn't make any sense that they would, uh, because the leaves probably don't know, you know, like game-wise, all infested leaves are probably infested leaves and they don't know what tree they came from. So they wouldn't really know what sapling to drop. That would, uh, that'd be my guess. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe each type of tree is a different, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so never do that on your only tree. 
Uh, definitely want to make sure you get some uh, saplings in reserve. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish. Uh, well, hang on a second here. No, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these two trees down to uh, keep the uh, the silk contained. Because if I don't, then um, all of my trees will eventually become infested. And I'm not necessarily saying uh, that's a bad thing um, under certain circumstances, but I don't think I'm going to need that much string. Now, these big guys right here, I think the, uh, the best way I have found to deal with them, if you... Uh, if you actually want to use the crook on them, that is, is to attack them from the top down. Um, either way, it uh, it's a bit time consuming. Oh, look at that one! Drop string and a silkworm. Um, the silkworms, if you start getting a lot of them, what I've actually found a use for them is uh, you can, um, well, you can cook them and eat them, but I've never actually done that, and I don't think they give you a whole lot of uh, hunger back. I think a better use for them is to wait until you're, um, you know, throwing stuff in a barrel to compost it. And if you have a barrel that's like, you know, 95% full, but let's say a, um, you know, a sapling, what is it, like a 12%? A sapling will fill 12% of a barrel, but you only need, you know, you only have 5% of a barrel left. So essentially you're wasting some of that sapling. Ooh, boy, that's kind of scary. Is that over the edge? No. That one is, though. Um, anyway, you can, um, save some silkworms, so if you just need to top off a barrel, use the, uh, the silkworms for, for that purpose. Because you're definitely, you're never going to need as many as you get. And hell, if you get like hundreds of them, just start composting them, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's uh, any big use for them that I, that I don't know. I could certainly be wrong about that, but um, that's just uh, my experience anyway. All right. Um, what? Okay, a couple things on my immediate agenda that I want to do is uh, make a sieve out of this string and I need to start uh, sieving some dirt because with doing that we should be able to um... oh boy you know what there's no water though <sighs> crap I wanted to get a uh, garden going but I boy I think I need a bucket Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, I... Ah, crud. What all can you make a bucket out of? Okay, well... <laughs> just the, uh... Just the iron. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to wait on that a little bit. I think one thing that I want to do... That I think I'm at, I'll probably actually do it as soon as I'm done with this tree... Is put up a border... Around the area here. Just so, in a drunken stupor, I don't take a uh, walk into the void. <clears throat> Let's see here. And wherever I make my actual, like, base, or my house, um, I want it to be kind of centrally located. Make sure I got my uh, lighting up. Nope. I actually like playing the game on Moody. Uh, the problem is it doesn't translate to a video very well. Okay, so I'm at 63%. I... Yeah, you can use apples, uh, you can use the silkworms. I think you can even use string. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh hell, we'll fill it up. Okay. Alright, now, let's go ahead and do the sieve. Alright, I need... See if I can do this from memory. Oh wait, no. I can't do that yet. First of all, I need to make yeah, two of these guys, the mesh. 
All right, and then uh, the mesh goes here, and then planks go here, and then put the legs right there. Yes. Okay, there's our sieve, and I got to punch a hole right here. There we go. I don't like the stuff being up in the air. Um, it's kind of weird. And you are done. Oh, okay. Now, let's go ahead and sieve some dirt. Oh, that's right. I was going to work on the border. My brain is uh, jumping all around. Oh, what was that? <gasps> I got poop. Why the hell does Darkcraft have poop in it? God damn it, Darkcraft. Stop being dumb. Or awesome, depending on your reference point. Uh, Cruz, that's why you like Darkcraft so much, isn't it? Because it's got poop. Can you actually throw it? Oh, damn. Oh my god. I had no idea. What the hell do you do with this? Do you just throw it? Oh, you can turn it into bone meal. Yeah, I'll do that. Bone meal probably smells a little better, at least. Okay, so let's look what we got. We got some melon seeds that probably aren't going to do us a whole lot of good. We could probably bone meal them up, actually. But, eh. We're not in uh, dire needs yet. Now, we have these stones, and as far as I know, they're good for one thing. You do one of those jobs, and you get cobblestone. Awesome. Um, now, let's see here. I think what I actually probably need is a chest. You know, I should have turned that into a crafting station, because Tinker's is in this. I don't know why I didn't do that. It was uh, kind of dumb of me. Alright, um... Yep. The, uh, the cardinal rule of Minecraft still applies. Never dig down. That rule especially applies in a uh, skyblock map. Holy crap. Um, Alright, I don't think I need my string right now. I'll save that. Put those books away for sure. Don't need you. I'm going to put the cobble away for right now. And let's think about the, uh, the border. I could put like a slab you know right here but I think that would probably look pretty stupid now I know I'm not normally one for aesthetics but um this is probably going to be ugly enough already and I definitely don't need to uh, make it worse Alright, here's what I am going to do. I think I'm going to use fencing. I think fence will look a lot better. And then I can just install gates between the, uh, the different areas. That is probably acceptable for a start. Now, I do need to raise this fence layer up half of a block like that. Oh! Ooh, that kind of scared me. There we go. And we will do that. And I gotta make sure that I don't go too far. I gotta put the slabs down and then put the fence down. Because uh, if I do the ring first and then go back and do the fences, mobs will uh, start to spawn on it. And as soon as I get a furnace going... I can also start putting some torches out. I know that I don't uh, necessarily need torches, but uh, it's just nice to have them out for some light. Plus, people complain at me if I uh, if I don't put torches out. Okay. I'm going to keep working on this, and uh, I will bring you back when anything interesting happens.